Now that we've looked at the slopes of parallel perpendicular lines, we're going to learn how to write equations of parallel and perpendicular lines, which takes three steps. First, you have to identify the original slope. Then you have to decide whether you're doing parallel or perpendicular. And then we're going to use a formula, y equals mx minus h plus k. You may be familiar with y equals mx plus b, but this is a modified point slope form that I can use. So m is my slope, and then my point is an h comma k. The minus in the formula means it's going to be the opposite. So if h is positive, then I would plug in a negative. If it was negative, I would plug in a positive. So let's try some problems. Parallel to y equals 3x minus 2 through negative 4, 1. So when we talk about the original slope, you might need to solve for y. Now let's look at a problem. So since y is by itself, I can go ahead and get started. So what we're going to do is we're going to say our original slope is 3. Draw an arrow. I want the parallel slope. So what's my parallel slope to 3? Parallel means the same slope, so that's going to be 3. Now we're going to say by Felicia to all the old stuff in the problem. I don't need that anymore. What I do need is my slope and my point. So I'm going to call that h and k. y equals m x minus h plus k. So my m is 3 parentheses x minus means opposite. So the opposite of negative 4 would be positive 4. And then I say we keep k. So my k is positive 1. I'm going to keep it as 1. And my last two steps are to distribute and combine like terms. y equals 3x plus 12 plus 1, and I can combine those, and that's my final answer, y equals 3x plus 13. Looking at the next parallel problem, my y is not by itself, so the first thing I need to do is subtract 4x. And now we go through the same process. My original slope is negative 4. I need my parallel slope, which is going to be the same thing, negative 4. Now none of this old stuff matters. And the reason I'm kind of crossing it out is because otherwise people start trying to use that later. Here's my h and my k and my new slope. So we're going to use y equals m x minus h plus k. So y equals, my slope is negative 4, x minus means opposite, opposite of negative 6 is going to be positive 6, keep k, so keep positive 5. Distribute and combine like terms. So that's negative 4x minus 24 plus 5. And negative 24 plus 5 would be negative 19. Let's look at some perpendicular. Perpendicular. 